Okay, Assalamualaikum and selamat sejahtera. So now let's discuss subtopic 9.2, Human Reproductive System for Female Reproductive System. Okay, so first of all, so this is the overview for Female Reproductive System. So apa yang awak kena tahu adalah the first one, uh, Female Reproductive Organ. Okay, and then second, Structure of Ovary. Okay, and then next is Structure of Secondary Oocyte. Third is Process of Oogenesis. And another one, Female Reproductive Cycle. Okay, so kalau kita go through one by one, for female reproductive organ that you have to know is ovary, fallopian tube or oviduct, uterus, cervix and vagina. Okay, so actually dalam awak punya note, semua ni ada uh, di dalam awak punya nota dan juga berserta dengan dia punya function. So make sure awak semua mesti kena tahu lah the structure and also function of each organ. Okay, nanti boleh refer kepada notes masing-masing. Okay, then we look at the structure of ovary. So inside of the ovary, Ovary, it contain follicles at various stages of development. Okay, so if you look at the structure of ovary, okay, so this is the structure of ovary. So the whole structure here, yang ni yang kita panggil sebagai ovary. So inside of the ovary, it has follicle. Okay, so yang bulat-bulat ni semuanya adalah follicle. Inside follicle, it has the oocyte. Okay, so kalau kita tengok based on the development of oocyte, okay, dia akan develop daripada primary oocyte sampailah dia akan membentuk secondary oocyte. Okay, so secondary oocyte is contained inside of the matured follicle that we call as graphene follicle. Okay, so what happened to this graphene follicle when ovulation is occur? So this graphene follicle will rupture and release the secondary oocyte. So this secondary oocyte is ready to penetrate by the sperm. Okay, so the detail process, what happened to the follicle and also the primary oocyte, nanti kita akan discuss di dalam female reproductive cycle. Okay, so apa yang awak kena tahu based on the structure of ovary adalah okay inside of the ovary it has follicle inside of the follicle it has oocyte okay then uh, next we look at the structure of secondary oocyte okay so secondary oocyte is produced by the process of oogenesis okay and then it will release from graphene follicle during ovulation ini yang macam saya dah mention tadi maksudnya once ovulation is occur so what happen to the graphene follicle it will release the secondary oocyte and then the secondary oocyte is ready to be uh, fertilized by the sperm okay so if you look at the structure of secondary oocyte Okay, ha, so the whole structure here, yang ni yang kita panggil sebagai secondary oocyte. So the outer layer of secondary oocyte, it has corona radiata that consists of follicle cell or granulosa cell. So cell yang berada pada corona radiata, we call as follicle cell or granulosa cell. Okay, and then after corona radiata, we have zona pellucida. Okay, and then next is plasma membrane. Okay, of the secondary oocyte. Okay, next is the cytoplasm. Okay, and the inside of the cytoplasm, it has nucleus. So, nanti dalam uh, process of fertilization, nanti awak akan explain macam mana sperm will penetrate through the secondary oocyte. So, maksudnya awak mesti kena tahu structure of secondary oocyte. Okay, then... What you have to know is process of oogenesis. So what is oogenesis? It is the process to produce ovum or mature egg cell. So yang ni nanti kita akan go through. Okay and then other one, you have to know the female reproductive cycle. So this one you have to take note. For female reproductive cycle, it will be divided into two cycle. The first one we call as ovarian cycle that occur in the ovary. Second, uh, menstrual cycle that occur in the uterus.